Hello users. Today, we'll unbox and play Interdictor. A flight simulator for the Acorn Archimedes, developed by Simis in 1989. First, let's take a look at the cover. The game comes on one 3.5 inch diskette without copy protection, so it can be backed up and installed to hard disk easily. This is the game's manual with loading and gameplay instructions. Interdictor puts you in control of a fictional jet fighter, featuring well-simulated handling and throws you straight into action without the need for mission planning or managing complex avionics. So, it is a well-balanced blend of simulation and gameplay. Your aircraft can be controlled by mouse for the flight stick and keyboard for the various systems, but there is also support for the Volkmus joystick. The cockpit has got the basic instruments and two MFDs with a moving map, radar and loadout pages. Your plane's radar and radar warning receiver are simplified and easy to use. While the HUD only displays your pitch, speed and altitude. Available weapons are The gun Air-to-air -air missiles And air-to-ground rockets Which can also be used against enemy aircraft The 3D graphics look nice and move smoothly at very high speeds, thanks to the processing power of the Archimedes. Sound is limited to that of the engine and some effects which you can also listen to outside the game by using the sound program provided.
your mission is to take control of the enemy airfields to the north of your airbase until you ultimately locate and destroy the enemy headquarters to win the game. Before you can land at an enemy airbase, you'll first need to take out its air defenses and cut off its supply lines by taking out nearby bridges, depots and enemy supply trucks. In other words, interdiction. Hence, the game's title. The flight model was quite good for the time, with a more or less convincing aircraft behavior. Featuring among others, sites up and stores. Gameplay is quite easy, so the only real challenge during dogfights is keeping your airplane under control with the mouse. But as you penetrate deeper into enemy territory, more enemy aircraft and air defenses will be engaging you simultaneously. So, the game gradually becomes more difficult. Interdictor's copy protection is code-based. You will be asked for a color code immediately after loading the game, which you need to look up in this color table. Let's take a final look at the game package. Simis kept improving on Interdictor's game engine in subsequent flight simulation titles, such as their quite successful MiG-29 Fulcrum release of 1991 which features among others, a better flight model and external views. Now, put on your helmets and let's fly a mission.
That was an impressive game, showcasing the A3000's capabilities. That's all for today, users. Until next time, here are some more videos for you.